Dr. Charles is still here for the 2026 Annual Ontario Racing and Martial Arts Championship, or OPMAC for short. So, in the last video we just got all the racing events for the USDA WPA event. Now we're going to discuss the Waco Canada events that we're hosting this year. I'm going to start out with the forms of the Blessed Division. Those are pretty standard to pretty much every other forms of the Blessed uh, competition out there. You have forms, you can do any type of forms you want with music, and the Blessed Division, you can do pretty much whatever you want with Blessed uh, with music. You just have to uh, look at the rules. So the rules will be posted in the, on the OntarioBranking.com website and the Waco Canada website so for all the details on that but in this video what I really want to go over is the sparring rule so I actually have to push it up here so bear with me while I kind of do a little bit of reading because there's quite a bit of stuff that I want to cover and I don't want to get anything wrong. So we're going to start with point style sparring so we all see point style sparring at competition um, as the Waco Canada event is a little bit different. Um, so what's going to be is uh, all out are going to be two rounds of a minute and a half with one minute rest in between. So during any particular round, points will be accumulated, but when a point is scored, the referee will stop and the judges will award the point to whoever. So like this person over here or this person over here then the match continues. So every time there's a legal point score, the match is stopped, the point, point is awarded until the time runs out of that round or of that match. Uh, some of the legal uh, scoring techniques for the hand, uh, fast to reverse punch, rich hand, to the front and side of the head as well as the body. Uh, kicking techniques allowed are front kick, side, round, back, spinning kick, uh, again, to the front or head of, of the head or the chest or side of the body. Um, point for point style, one point for all hand technique and body kick, two points for head kick, and three points for spinning or jump kick. So, that's a little bit different than normal um, competition where you might have one division or maybe first person three point or one person get five point. This is a cumulative of uh, point, but again, it continues um, stopping and going point style. Then we have light contact continuous firing. Those cells will be here, uh, and this, these cells will be three rounds of a minute and a half with one minute rest in between. Uh, pretty much uh, the level of contact is what they call controlled contact, so there's no penetrating force. There's always no safety. Um, uh, so, uh, safety equipment, starting here, head gear, foot pad, shin guard, mouth guard, athletic supporter, and actually the glove will be uh, supplied. Unlike, unlike point style, you have to have your own glove in light continuous contact start. Uh, Waco will provide 10 out gloves for you. And um, legal uh, scoring techniques for the hand, same thing, faster, rich hand, reverse punch, same front head uh, of the scoring for the head, kicking, same thing, front, side, round, back kick, spinning hook, uh, front and side of the head, chest and side of the ribs. Uh, legal point for continuous, one point for all hand techniques, to the bottom of your head and same uh, two point or one point for body kick. Two point for kick to the head, three point for spinning kick and jump kick. And with continuous firing, the basically the match just goes for that minute and a half for three one and a half minute round and the judges will be using I can have them right here. Give me a second. We'll actually use the clicker and we are constantly scoring the belt. Based on the legal scoring techniques that we're seeing, we use these. And at the end of the three rounds, the judges will compare and whoever has the highest point 
whether it be the blue competitor or the red competitor, what is that so so that's how that is. So continue it. Then we have six light. So basically six light is is like control very uh, light contact, kick boxing, or we can also look at it as continuous quick start with light kick. So so again both belts will be three rounds of a minute and a half half with one minute rest between rounds. The uh, equipment's the same, head gear, foot, shin, mouth, athletic support, the uh, athletic support slash shock, as well as Wakefo will provide the 10 outs below. Now the 10 outs below are actually in red and blue to match this. That's why we use the red and blue sweatshirt for the easy for us to keep track. Uh, so pretty much the same thing for the uh, scoring technique uh, for the hand. Back fist, reverse punch, wrist hand, front head of the helmet, all the way to the front side of the body. Legal kicking techniques are the same, front, round, side, back, spinning kick, uh, front and side of the head, as well as the chest and side of the body, um, as well as the inside and outside of the upper side, and there has to be at least three centimeters above the knee so that we don't make contact with me and insure somebody. But again, it's very extreme light contact. Tag team kick light. So basically it's the same rule as far as equipment and uh, sword technique for the tag team sword, but a few additional rules. Um, all team will be three person team. So what are we in uh, uh, male and female? So it might be three female team or three male team. It will not be intergender. All matches will be four minute in length. Uh, we have the thirteen under division, thirteen to eighteen and nineteen up division. Uh split is the same, head gear, foot pad, shin, melt guard, athletic support, slash jaw, slash cup, as well as ten ounces of load, which will be uh supplied by Wake for Canada. Same sword technique, same uh, kicking technique, um, and pretty much the same uh, point break as well. Um, and the decision will be at the end of the vote. So I'll think it just team minutes for flip, 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 flip. What are teams just will point at the end of the four minutes? Um, now, here's the tag team rules though. In play, the two competing athletes must stay within the competition area, obviously. Uh, time period, a player can only be in play for a maximum of 30 seconds. Longer time will result in a penalty. Not in play, the other members of each team stay in the safety zone on two opposite sides of the ring. So, or the map. So you'll have one team over here, let's say it's the red team, and one team will be over here, let's say that's the blue team. So when you're not engaged in the match, you and your other uh, teammate will be sending in the face of soap, waiting to be tagged in. Uh, tag. An athlete can change with a teammate by tagging their teammate in the face of soap only. So you have to stay in that soap. You cannot be outside if you tag. Infraction. Excessive contact. Illegal technique target. Accident and competition soap. And also poor enforcement. Penalty point. A penalty result in two point. Award it to the opposing team. Both players immediately get tagged out. So that was for the four starting uh, divisions that we have as the OOV back, the Ontario Breaking and Martial Arts Championship, as well as in addition to the Western and Forbes division. So those were the Waco Canada uh, divisions that were running as a part of their developmental theory. And this is all happening on Saturday, May 23rd. 2020 here at the Cooper Community Center. I am looking so forward to being your host and seeing all the athletes doing what they do fast and what they do and what they love to do. Uh, the other thing is make sure that you get registered by April 25th so that we can have all the medals, all the award uh, money. Also, with the Waco Division, we have six grand championship belt on the line. We have the 18 over male black belt point star championship, grand championship belt. 
we have an 18 and over black belt female toy style grand championship belt. Then we have four tag team championship belts. So junior male tag team, junior female tag team, adult male tag team, and uh, adult female tag team. So we have six beautiful grand championship belts being awarded this year at the 2020 OV Mac. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on May 25th. So make sure you guys train hard, get ready, and the rules will be posted below on the OntarioBreaking.com website. So make sure you take a look at those rules so you understand what's going on. Take care.